Hello, Scarpman Productions, and today we are going to be completely replacing the bearings on the three seater. I'm going to show you how to do it. different vehicles, go-karts mainly. First of all, we're gonna show you how to actually get the size of your bearing. Now, if you have punched the bearing out and it's still somewhat in the same shape it was in before, you can actually take a ruler and measure it, but this is pretty close. Yeah, the inner diameter is pretty darn close to three quarter. So you'd search up a three quarter inch inner diameter. You could also use calipers to measure the size of your spindle. That would do the same thing and then you measure the outside diameter. If it's flange, don't measure the flange, measure the inside part. One and three eighths outer diameter. This will be a, a three quarter bearing with a one and one eighth outer diameter. You'll be able to the right bearings with that information. Get your bearing, you just hammer it back into the wheel. Here's a brand new bearing right here. We're gonna put these in here. Now you could use a hammer put these bearings in as well, but you could damage the bearing using a hammer, so just be careful. Now in some cases like this one, my wheel didn't slide all the way on, so you put the nut on the end of the spindle and you start tightening it down and it should pull your wheel on as it is doing with me. that your sprockets are aligned. You want to make sure the bottom sprocket on the wheel lines up with the sprocket on the engine. If they don't, you're going to have issues with the chain hopping off. When you're tightening them down, you do not want to tighten the bolt down all the way. Because if you tighten it way down, the wheel does not freely spin as good. Now in this case, it's not as bad, but sometimes it can cause your wheel to completely lock up. You don't want that. You want your wheel to spin freely, like this. I think that's about it. We have both of our wheels on here. It's Cartman Productions. I will see you guys in the next one.